let's talk about bonding curves in automated market maker. Before I start, I really like to do the, the who, what, when, where, why, how, because it gives a very good general understanding before we dive deeper into the, the more gritty, nitty gritty details. So what is automated market maker? It allows users to exchange token A for token B. So I've got two different tokens and I want to change them. How do I change them? Instead of going to the order book and tell the order book or tell the exchange saying that I've got this amount of tokens, I want to exchange them for this amount of tokens. You just go to the automated market maker and you can do it with the code. You don't have to wait for anyone. The code is working 24 seven, 365. Why? Once again, because it reduces human involvement and it streamlines, it streamlines business logic. Right now, we're just talking about really basic exchange of tokens between token A and token B, but we can expand that super easily to getting information from Oracle to getting to looking at, looking at how to arbitrage different prices based on the different oracles. There are a lot of ways to streamline business logic with token bonding clubs because it's all automated. And where can you find automated market makers? You can find them in decentralized exchanges. So decentralized centralized exchanges will be stuff like your Huopi, your Binance, and decentralized exchanges will be stuff like Curve, Balancer, Bancor, Uniswap, all these stuff. This is where things get a lot more interesting because in a decentralized exchange, you don't have anyone controlling the protocol. You don't have anyone controlling, controlling the system. Everything is transparent. Everything is owned by the community. So that's where things get very exciting and very interesting. Who uses them? As I mentioned, Bancor, Uniswap, Curve, Balancer, these are different projects that use them. A lot more are coming. And the, the fun thing about bonding curves or about, about decentralized exchanges is that it really thrives with network effects. Network effects not in the sense that a lot of people are trading. I mean, that helps as well. But network effects as in the amount of depth of the liquidity that is being provided. So the amount of liquid tokens are in the system so that people can trade. If you don't have enough tokens, if you only have... 1,000 tokens, and someone comes in saying, I want to, tr I want to trade 5,000 tokens, then you just don't have enough liquidity to support that trade. So this is where network effects of liquidity provider comes in, which is very important for your ecosystem. And it's also used as, as part of the architectural stack for, to enable trading between in DeFi. So instead of going out asking someone, anyone wants to trade with me, or going to exchanges to wait for someone to trade with you, you have things being traded with you just like that with the machine. And how do we do it? We do it via math. 